Well, hello and welcome to this month's Leading with Honor Coaching. This month, we're going to talk about clarity. Well, what about clarity? Well, it's nice to have clear water, but what we're really talking about here is clarity in the way that you communicate with people and making sure that they understand what you really want to happen, especially when you're the leader and you want people to be accountable. You know, I've been working on this book on accountability and honor now for quite a while, so it's become very close to me. In the Air Force, we were taught, fight for clarity. You know, that's really good advice. The older I get, the more I realize how true that is. We do need to fight for clarity. And there are a lot of reasons why. First of all, some of us don't follow directions very well anyway. And some of us make assumptions about what we heard. We have a filter that kind of diverts things and makes them come out the way we assume they were, not necessarily the way they really were. And thirdly, there are just a lot of people in today's world, very me-centered generations, where they just interpret it the way they want to hear it. Again, it's just, uh, it's just hard to get clarity. So I'm encouraging you to fight for clarity and to think about it this way. You know, I'm an aviator. If we start at the 100,000 foot level, we're talking about mission, vision, values, strategy, working through that and making sure that you have clarity about what the mission is, what the vision is, what are our values. Values are so important because that's where your culture is built and culture is very important. So mission, vision, values, and then strategies that you have from those. That gets us going in the right direction and aligned. And we want alignment because when we have alignment in our thinking about who we are and what we do, it gives us so much more synergy, which is very powerful for execution. At the 50,000 foot level, we're talking about standards and policies of the organization, of the uh, profession. Uh, you know, the NFL had some real pol problems with their policies. They had to scramble very quickly because they were having problems with hazing. Then they had, you know, the Ray Rice Ravens incident with uh, domestic violence. And lots of issues have come up, deflate gate, that, where they've had to clarify policies. So make sure you clarify your policies. Then at the 25,000 foot level, what you as a leader, what's important to you and how you lead and how you want people to respond, you need to clarify that and let people know, here's what I want you to know about working for me. I have my list and I hope you have one too to share. And then we get down at the 15 and 10 and 5,000 foot level and we're talking about the actual task or project that has to be done. We want to make sure that people really understand What's, uh, what's we want to happen, what the outcomes we want to happen, and what are the resources available, and to some degree, how you're going to support them and how you're going to interact with them. What are the milestones they have to meet? How are you going to have reporting through that? Uh, all of those things need to be clarified. So think about how you can fight for clarity and just spend some time thinking about it actually thinking about it. That's where you as a leader have the responsibility to make sure you got clarity from 100,000 feet to 5,000 feet, all the way down in the weeds. And to do that, you're going to have to also be connecting with people and collaborating with people and then hopefully celebrating at the end with success. We'll talk about those other subjects, those other C's in next month and the month after and the month after. You see, we're leading up to the book launch of September the 7th, our national book launch, book launch of Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability. That's where we're headed, and I'm sharing with you each month some of the chapters from this book. The one we talked about today was Chapter 5, Clarity. Well, I hope you'll work on clarity, and in the meantime, be accountable yourself and set the example for others. Engage with honor to lead with honor. See you next month.